It's cold. It's uh just snow all over. But pretty much expected this time of year around here. Um standing where hopefully the wind doesn't it's not too bad. Uh the tutorial video I had planned for string here. For some reason, the code I had was working on .NET Core 3.0, and when I updated to .NET Core 3.1, doesn't work. And I don't know if that was a bug that was introduced, which I find unlikely considering it's an LTS, uh, or if I was relying on behavior somewhere that should have been not working. So that's interesting. Uh, I plan on getting that fixed at some point this week. But today I have been doing a absolute crap ton on the new revision to the uh, VS Code extension for ADA. And it's coming along quite rapidly, which is good to see. Uh, something that helps a lot is, um, I don't know if I explained this at all, the approach I'm taking this time around is to basically follow the Add a Reference Manual as close to exactly as I can. That's not entirely possible, uh, and this has to do with a number of reasons. One being that even though the engine that they've developed is quite sophisticated and is capable of doing more than just regular languages, you still have this interesting sort of hacky regex approach that can't handle the complexity of a language that Ada is. But it gets it pretty damn close. Uh, the other thing is that obviously regex and uh, extended bacchus Nauer form are not the same thing. So, there's some translation there, but it's going pretty well. Uh, in less than 12 hours, I've got it to where it's handling basically every type of basic type declaration, uh, not some of the more sophisticated ones, so not like a task type. Um, and it's handling package specs and quite a few other things. Uh, and it's doing it much better than it used to be. Um, line breaks, for example, were a big problem with the previous revision. Uh, and as part of why I was saying it was a preview the entire time, part of why it was never a version 1.0 or anything above that, it was always 0. Point, I think it got up to 0. 0.88. Uh, a lot of fast revisions. But... It's, uh, it handles line breaks very well now. Again, due to some limitations in the, in the parsing engine that they're using, uh, I can't put line, I can't allow line breaks to be put anywhere and not break it, but figure more than three quarters of the spaces between tokens can have a line break. So that's pretty damn good. Um, basically anybody's styling should be covered now. But the other big reason for following the Add a Reference Manual as strictly as I can is that it helps not forget things. So something that I had never done in the previous one, because it's a feature that I've never used and regularly just forget even exists, is the usings clause for types. There's uses for it. There's, I'm sure that people uh, use it, but it's not something that I really see much uh, other than in the Ada reference manual and in the wiki books thing for Ada. Uh, I've never seen it, but... Uh, because I'm following this, it's there, it's supported. So, 
I still don't know who donated, but thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I'll make sure that this is as good as it can possibly be. Even if I'm not doing added development anymore, it's just kind of a, a thing of pride of how well the extension did. Um, so, yeah. Normally, you try to hit 10 minutes, because YouTube. I'm not leaving my hands out for a full 10 minutes. They're already kind of hurting. So, uh, yeah, until the next video, have a good one, guys.